The show is about, it centers around uh, Kirsten Clark, which is, which is my, luckily, my character. Um, and it is about a covert government agency. Um, uh, Kirsten gets recruited by this covert government agency to hack into the brains of people who have passed away. Uh, and how that's done is, if you get to someone soon enough after they die, you can slow down the degradation process of the brain, and then we can insert a living consciousness, aka me, into the dead person's mem into the dead person's brain, and I can see their memories or pieces of their memories, whatever's available. Um, and usually, I'll see things that are more emotionally charged or things that they felt very strongly. That person who died felt very strongly about. And then we solve crimes. Kristen is the perfect person for stitching because she has this condition called temporal dysplasia. And what that means is it's sort of two parts. One is it affects her perception of time, and the other part is it, is it affects her um, emotional availability. And she, in terms of her time, she doesn't understand or doesn't feel the passage of time in the same way that the average person does. So each given moment in a day is like it's always been, it's like deja vu. It feels like deja vu to her constantly, so there's no real past, present, and future. And in terms of the emotional side of it, she sort of has a, an emotional disconnect, really. She doesn't feel emotions in the same way um, as everybody else does. It's almost as if the neural pathways in her brain don't, don't sync up for her emotions. First of all, for me, I think it's always really wonderful for young women to be able to look at another young woman who is unabashedly proud of herself, you know, and she does, she's, and, and the fact that she's not super cool, she's not super popular, she doesn't have to wear all the right clothes, you know, she's hardly ever, she, she looks good, but she's not sem seriously fashion conscious. Um, she's incredibly smart, and she's not ashamed of that, and I think that most young, uh, women should never be ashamed of how smart they are, and unfortunately, there are like a lot of young girls who are, and um, I think that she's a great role model. For, people, for young women to look up to, for women in general, you know. And I think it's a fun show. I think it's interesting. It's something different. It's also very funny, surprisingly. <laughs> the first person that Kirsten is a little vulnerable with and opens up to and trusts. I think she trusts Cameron before she trusts anyone else. And that's, that's special because she doesn't really trust people herself but he's just a big wuss all the time. <laughs> he's just always scared. <laughs> so I don't know if it's that she like brings him out of, well maybe by like proxy of having to constantly be terrified around her. <laughs> he starts to get a little more comfortable with his like constant fear, but <laughs> she's always making him do things that he, he's not really keen on doing. She's always pushing his boundaries. Um, and I think he grows from that and I think they learn a lot from each other. So she sort of gives him a little more confidence and go-get-it ability and, and he gives her a little more vulnerability and, and kindness.